And here we are with a bit of primer. As you can see, there's a bit of a seam that I have to deal with there. I think uh, filing will do really nicely to bring all that into shape and then a sanding. There are a few of these uh, strips here that do rise above the surface and you know, there's a couple of them right in there. Might be a couple more, but out of 30 it came out pretty good. As an experiment, this is definitely very uh, positive findings. Essentially, if I had gotten the timing right, the best of this looks like it's blended into the surface almost. Like this guy here is a really nice one. And if all the rest can be like, even that's not bad, these two are pretty good. If all the rest could be along these lines, like this is a really... Well, this is a decent bar going across right there. There's a few of them that look pretty good overall, but what, taken in the whole, you add up stuff like this with stuff like that, and it just starts to look kind of sloppy. So one or two here or there could work, but really, uh, if a lot more of them were uniform and looking good, like these two kick above the surface pretty well. Eh, not too, too badly. Here are those two, maybe. Anyhow, and these will eventually break free. I'm probably going to slather uh, super glue all over everything just to help make sure, you know, just give it that extra little bit of security for when it does get uh, knocked about. But yeah, as a first test, definitely very positive leanings, and this can always be taken off, a new one can be put on and fashioned and so on. So next up is going to be stripping off this guy here, which is just a matter of pulling the pieces off and cutting it loose from the heat shrink. But I do need to find a way to get all of these rings to set perpendicular to the staff at a very particular spacing. Right now, stacked right next to each other, this is much too tight. Uh, the rings need to have more definition each.